Hey everyone, it's me, James. Yay! So, it's been a while since I spoke to y'all. Um, I believe it was the divisional round of football. And since then, I've got some pretty cool mail calls. And uh, just want to kind of share that with y'all. Um, first and foremost, I just want to say go Broncos. Uh, we're in the Super Bowl. And um, I'm very excited and hoping that uh, it's competitive, no matter what, or blowout by us, given the blowout, um, to send Peyton off with another ring, uh, at least from the Broncos, because I'm pretty sure that no matter what, this is probably his last game with the Denver Broncos. So uh, if he decides to retire or even move on from our club, he's done so much in this time that I hope he gets a Super Bowl ring, and of course I'll be happy as a fan. Um, kind of ratty today. It's the weekend, my day off. I'm not going to shave, just here to talk about my mail call. So, uh, next on the list is to say thank you, Brother Khan, Dr. Love, Khan Kazmidis. Thank you, sir, uh, for your generosity in sending some gifts as a mail call. Unexpected. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Um, appreciate your support and for those of you that may not know the straywhisker.com is something that Khan has invested in so thank you to you and your lovely um, the back of the shirt says keep it nice or shave it off uh, so yeah I'm trying to do that um, let's go through the stuff that uh, Khan gave, which one of the items was this shirt, another was Shaver Heaven, Anthony Macri's soap here, which is the Arctic Mango, which has menthol, mango, citrus, uh, peaches, musk. And I gotta say that this is a really nice soap. It was nice and uh, creamy lather, protective lather, and just has a really pleasant combination of summery type scents, which for them down there, you know, they're kind of backwards from us in the top half of the world. So they're going through summer right now. But I tell you what, for me, it doesn't matter. Use this anytime. And excellent. Thank you. And also this aftershave balm, which I believe it's just unscented and uh, is really, really um, like a true balm, like very close to uh, what you could get out of a bottle of Nivea's for sensitive skin. Not as liquidy as that, but you know, pretty close. And I'm pretty sure it's unscented, um, but thank you. All right, all right. So next on the mail call, um, because I got my goatee in, I went ahead and went, went to my friends at the mod cabin and ordered some stuff. And so the first thing I did was I ordered me some more beard oil. Um, it's just wonderful. And along with that, for my first time, I got Beard Bombs. And this one is the Ridge Runner scent. And I love it. Uh, to me, almost uh, everything I smell the, from them has some type of woods in the back note. So it kind of goes with their theme of being the Mod Cabin. And to me, this is by far my most favorite scent from them, the Ridge Runner. If they had a shaving soap in this, I would probably be all over it. Um, but the balm is very nice. It doesn't really take a lot for me and my goatee and mustache area because I use it all, all over. I just basically will scoop out just a little bit and it's so 
buttery, as Suave would say, that it pretty much kind of melts in your hand as you're rubbing your palms together to get it to rub through. Um, the oil is just a typical oil type feel to it, but um, it just takes very little. I'll take the cap off, flip the container over like that, whatever's on my fingers I'll just hump and rub it through and that's plenty. So the mod cap, great stuff. And along with that, I also ordered me a little mustache comb. And I got my own bore brush that I use, you know, to kind of, I'll take this mostly for the mustache in there, just to detangle, and then I'll take the brush and shape it, everything. Um, all right, what's next? All right, I'm just gonna go down the list as everything's on top. So next is Ginger's Garden. Old Dominion, I gotta tell you guys, I really, uh, oh man, I really dig this scent. Um, to me, it's, you can barely taste the patchouli in the background, but man, it really brings this out. Um, I think it's a well-made scent. And of course, got the bomb to go along with it. Um, I figured the scent would be manly enough in, uh, spicy enough to send out to some friends so I sent that out along with my own copy because oh, yeah I'm so glad I got this so nice so nice um, unique to me doesn't really smell like anything else I have in my den mine I'm very selective about what I get so um, great job Irina uh, hope you get better by the way heal up quick um, prayers for you. Alright, so next is some stuff that I ordered from Peter over at his shop. And I ordered from him, I wanted something different, unique, and I can tell just by the fact that this is a flip top with a screw top, this had to be made by Ginger's Garden. And for Peter, this is the Honey Oud. And oh my, do you get both. You get both. You get that honey scent, you get uh, the hints of the Oud in there. And um, I haven't used it yet, but man, does it smell just delicious. And this particular one is a tallow formula, just like that old Dominion is tallow as well. Uh, so, oh. Man, does that smell good. It smells very similar to uh, the Mystic Waters uh, honey. I can't remember what the full name, maybe it's only honey, but it smells very similar to that. And it could just be the honey making that. But also, you put in this very fancy container, which is a nice touch to it. Peter Sharkalis. Shaving with Sharky. So this is the first time I'm smelling this. Kind of left it wrapped up because I wanted you guys to see the packaging that went with it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. So I can smell that in there. It smells pretty much like the soap, so it's gonna be a great matching pair. And that's how that's gonna go. And there you are, right there. The Honey Oud from Peter Sharkalis' shop. I'm sorry, Peter, I just can't remember it right off the top of my head. But I'll have it posted probably in something in a banner and then also in the video. Thank you, Sharky. Oh, and the other cool thing about it is, man, thank you so much for sending the extra. So Peter also sent me a taste of classic, a French vetiver. And this is, ah, there we go. Now I can see it, the shaving shop. The shaving shop. Oh man, does that smell good to me? Just from the container, it's almost more like what 
we would think of barber shop because of the talcum a lot of times that barbers will put on you uh, on your neck and stuff like that after they're done uh, shaving so to me it has kind of like that talcum type notes to it it may be some citrus in there as well I'm sure the vetiver will probably come out a little bit more um, as it's loaded I haven't used it yet uh, but awesome thank you brother thank you So next, we get to Katie's bubbles. And Chris knows that I'm a fan of this label because there's more of the Rockies in the background. Yes, I'm a Bronco fan, so he did that up for me, which is beautiful. Um, but this is the newer container, so I ordered me some of this and asked if he would send me labels, and boy did he. Thank you, Chris, Mrs. Bubbles, thank you so much. Um, it means a lot to me, just these little added things that you're willing to do. And uh, So I ordered me some more Mile High Menthol so that I would have one, send one to my brother, and I gave one to uh, Robert Sanchez over at the uh, Legendary Shaves, Legends, and... Uh, here in Collierville. That way he could smell the goodness that is this oh, menthol eucalyptus and camphor, which, oh guys, if you love Parasso Green, I'm pretty positive you will love this, especially considering the performance that you get from Katie's Bubbles. So, mile high menthol. That's the newer label they use, which I will say, I like this aspect of it but I just wish the background itself was this background with the lettering that's here awesome though right all right so some of the other stuff which I'm kind of just going back and forth though bringing up here but to finish out Katie's bubbles a midnight dreary now I kind of wish I got the soap as well but I got to tell you 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 guys that got this early on I was curious about it it's a Baltimore thing which also you know kind of goes with um, Mr. Poe Edgar Allan Poe and it also to me kind of goes along with the Baltimore Ravens as well and so that purple uh, funeral color happens to be the Ravens color, which is kind of, you know, it's weird how that all fits in. I'm sure it was all put together because of Edgar Allan Poe and everything else that goes along, but this actually smells really nice. Kind of lightly sweet smelling, reminds me of uh, one of the uh, body cologne sprays that I got from um, Bed Bath & Be, no, not Bed, Bath & Body, from Bath & Body. And uh, you know how they do their like little uh, spray bottles that you can buy from them. This smells very similar to the one in the red. I forget what they call that, but the one in the red. This very this smells very much like that. Um, so not too harsh. Just enough of a fragrance fragrance that you know it's there. And man, does it smell good. Dark, mysterious blend. Yeah, yeah, I would say I could agree with that. Um, it smells very nice and then I also got of course because I gotta match it with my soap Quattro Scent Vint 420 um, it smells pretty much just like the soap does but the soap to me could almost be classified close to like a Fougere type scent in my opinion and this matches it so very nice very nice I've worn both as after shaves already in a couple shapes I've had since I got uh, received them, gotten them, <laughs> and uh, very nice aftershaves. These are the first aftershaves I have received from Katie's Bubbles, and very good, very good, very nice. Don't uh, feel overly oily or anything like that. As a matter of fact, they go right in, make your skin feel supple. All right, so now back to the mod cabin. I just wanted to show some other things that I got. 
uh, from them. One is um, I got the packs because the packs really let you um, get a it, for me, it doesn't take a whole lot since I have very little going on in growth. You know, I don't have a full on beard. So these last me forever. And this one is the Honey Suckle. And this is the matching beard balm for it, which smells like Honey Suckle. Oh. Now, out of all the ones that I've smelled from the mod cabin, so far this is the one that smells least like trees of any type, least of any type of wood. This pretty much smells like honeysuckle, but it's a good smell if you like honeysuckle, and I happen to like it, so very nice. Um, also have some Miner's Mint Beard Oil, which has a nice spearmint, peppermint type smell to it, something like that. And gun barrel, which is just straight up, smells like gunpowder. So if there's a particular scent that maybe <laughs> you don't agree with or something like that, you throw some of the gun barrel on, that gunpowder just boom, takes it all away. All right, everybody. Um, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure. Let me check one more thing. Yes, that was it. Um, I also ordered some stones and things like that for sharpening, but uh, in general, most people are more interested in this stuff, and so I'd share this. All right. So uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a blessed week coming up. Uh, thank you, Dr. Love. Um, and I'm just very thankful to the community. And one last thing, please pray for baby girl. She just got uh, her first official nomination uh, back from, you know, congressional nomination for the Air Force Academy. So if it's his will, if it's God's will, please pray that um, that would be enough to get her in. All it takes is one nomination. Uh, she did all the work. She continues to do good work in school, and um, what an awesome time it would be. What an awesome accomplishment, uh, more than I could ever imagine, um, and what a huge blessing. So, even to this point, uh, thank you all for the Air Force Academy. Sorry, for the Air Force Academy. Uh, thank you, and until I talk to you again, go Broncos.